All right, this is my do-it-yourself magnesium air fuel cell. I have the negative end here, and the top end is this chunk of magnesium that I cut off of a flint mag tool, flint, mag flint magnesium tool, you like for camping and that. There, that's better. And in there is salt water. Um, I used ordinary table salt. Originally, I had uh, dissolved two grams of salt in. Yeah, you can, you can see that. Two grams of salt in 50 grams of water, but it wasn't enough, so I dumped more in. I'm reading 1.13 volts. Take it out, no voltage. There is no connection between the two. Sorry, I'm a lousy cameraman. There's no connection between the two. Put in the stream. Look, at this point, it's not touching anything. And I'm reading 1.2 volts. Leave it here. Switch over to milliamps, and I'm generating nothing. Now, when you introduce some oxygen to it, these are in milliamps, so I'm reading uh, 0.2 milliamps as it is. You can hear the thing bubbling there. Air pump, ambient air pumped in there. It seems to be dependent on salt. As I add more salt, it uh, generates more amperage, which is consistent with the... Uh, watch. I'm not reading anything now. Now keep in mind this is short circuited so it's not doing like it should and I don't know how to make it work but it's a start and so this is my first version of my magnesium air fuel cell. This was uh, taken with information off Wikipedia and uh, some website that manufactures them. Uh, they're the only ones that make them. Sorry about the cameraman and thank you.